Scott, this is good news for you. EA has largest team ever working on a new Battlefield game. This is Mike Straw over at Insider Gaming. EA has more people working on the new Battlefield game than at any point in the franchise's history, according to CEO Andrew Wilson. The statement came during the company's latest quarter quarterly earnings call on Tuesday evening. Quote, this is the largest Battlefield team in franchise history. And quote, he said, quote, a few weeks ago, I was visiting the teams and I couldn't be more excited about what they showed and what we're able to play. End quote. In April, EA announced that Motive, the studio behind Star Wars Squadrons and the Dead Space remake, would be moved over to work on the development of Battlefield. The studio is also working on the upcoming Iron Man game. Scott, you know what this reminds me of, honestly? Activision oh, no. Blizzard taking every studio that they had at the time and just throwing it into Call of Duty. Is EA doing the same thing? Oh, quite possibly. And I'm hoping that this is going to put the right people in the same room together, but I'm not certain. I really hope this includes the people from Bad Company. Um, ah. yeah. I've, I've spoken to enough fans. We all want Bad Company 3. <laughs> Absolutely. As far as the new Battlefield game, Wilson was happy with the game's progress and is confident about the, its success when players get their hands on it. Quote, I've just spent a whole bunch of time with the collective Battlefield team playing and what they're building, and it is going to be another tremendous live service. End quote. He said. Scott, that make you nervous? There is some worry about those <laughs> words. Tremendous live service. However, I do, I do want to state that uh, Battlefield in the past has had good, uh, what I would call a premium offering for good DLC. Sure. Not such a weekly drip feed. Um, they've added large maps in the past and big narratives to go with that. New weapons and that sort of thing. So I, I think it's going to be a lot more meaningful than just skin packs. But yeah. there is the concern. Is this game going to come out free to play? And uh, that has me terrified. If it's free to play, does that mean we don't get a story? Like, I thought they're working on a story of some sort, right? Like, you're supposed to come back. I heard We've heard rumors of a campaign making its way back into the game. It's got to happen. I, I have a feeling that's going to be the paid um, part oh, in addition sure. to a lot of... I'm sure they'll bundle that with a lot of the different um, weekly kind of live service events that will be right. going forward. So. And battle passes and the like but i'm hoping for a campaign myself just because i really like the the campaigns they put together in the past it's been yep. a long time though it has been and the way battlefield 2042 has started off rocky definitely came back around is wrapping up with the end of season seven but then that's the end of it right that's it when do you think we get the next battlefield game is it next year oh if they're already talking about things they've shown and things they're ready to play already then i think we are seeing this next year 2025 i would bet Cool. Let us know your thoughts over on ITGTV.com. Are you jumping into the next Battlefield? 